Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. Today I will talk about the month of November 2022 for the sign of Gemini. So if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Gemini, then this is your video. So today I'm filming from the rural area. Um, I rented a house with a pool in the nature because I was really craving to be outside. I wanted to leave my apartment in the city for a bit so I can re really just be outside and enjoy this really amazing weather which is quite unusual for this time of the year. So Gemini, what can you expect next month? Well, first look, <laughs> your job, your work situation is going to be amazing. You're going to be really seen this month, okay? I'm going to come to you, uh, come back to you shortly with that. Because we first, uh, at the beginning of the month, we have a full moon lunar uh, eclipse in the sign of Taurus at exactly 16 degrees. And this will happen in your 12th house, right? And your 12th house is everything behind the scenes, right? So a lot of you are taking some rest. You're working on a project behind the scenes, maybe to make more money. But, you know, like a lot of you have worked really hard. You've worked a lot and, you know, you need some rest. You need some rest. So the beginning of the month, really recommending you to, to take a break, to rest a little bit. And at the same time, Jupiter is retrograding back into Pisces in your 10th house. And, you know, it is trining from around the 14th of November. It's going to trine your bunch of planets, uh, Venus, the Sun, um, Mercury in your sixth house. So there is going to be some major recognition when it comes to your work. Uh, so at the beginning of the month it's almost like you're forced to be like really relaxed and maybe you found a new way of working and this is going to be really recognized um you're going to be seen like even some of you are gonna find a new job around this time if you had a break and you were laid off and you were looking for a new job this is a good time to find a new one we do have however mars retrograde so your energy is um it's a bit inward so it's not you cannot do as much as you wish to do so do take it easy but i feel like this is gonna be something that just comes to you because with so many planets trining jupiter we're talking about blessings here a lot of blessings and at the new moon in sagittarius jupiter is also stationing direct so a lot of beautiful recognition for your public image if you're in social media this is a wonderful time right like if you launch a video around this time you might get a lot of new um uh, if you're on youtube subscribers followers it's a great time to uh to put yourself out there okay and to find a new job or to get this promotion um this is really and it could be something that you were promised before didn't work yet or didn't work out yet with mars retrograde sorry for this wind i hope it's not shaking my camera too much i'm not too experienced with filming outside <laughs> i don't have the equipment yet maybe in the future i would like to do more videos outside but yeah this is like a first trial 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 <laughs> yeah so yeah gemini this is really a lovely time um it could be that you're being relieved uh, it could be that you were dealing with some health issues and you're gonna get good news with that so maybe you have certain medicine and they help you or you're doing an alternative treatment and they help you i am not uh like all for alternative medicine or all for like um like uh, doctors help i think a combination of both is gonna help you best right um so do what is best for you right this is not i'm not an expert in that i'm just reading what i see in the astrology so yeah doing a checkup 
a last checkup with the south node in the sixth house. Maybe you're leaving some old habits behind. Maybe you're stop smoking, uh, stop drinking, like or like reduce these things and have a more healthier diet. Um, for some of you, maybe like you, you certainly have more freedom to rest. You have less uh, obligations, so you can have more focus on your job, which is really nice. And uh, we have this new moon in Sagittarius for you in your seventh house. So how lovely is that, Gemini? You are, you're going to like reconnect again with your partner if you're in a relationship. You might meet someone new around this time, Gemini, if you're single. However, we have Mars retrograde and it could be that you know, unless you have it in your natal chart, this is fine, but you might connect with someone on a more physical level and this will fade out once Mars is going to be direct again. So pay attention to that, that you're really connecting on a mental level. Uh, some frustrations that are coming up at the beginning of the month are very, very important, right? Because now you can let go of major, major, major cycles, right? We have um, Saturn in your ninth house. So maybe you were not able to travel for some time. You were kind of stuck in a job. Um, you maybe get a job where you can travel with. Um or just a job which gives you more freedom, that you can have more holidays. But some frustrations regarding traveling, uh, regarding also regarding your belief systems, like maybe you're stepping out of certain religion, changing religions, um, like any type of belief system, right? Ninth house is any uh, belief system, anything what you think is God, this could be many things for many people. I'm very open to learn from different religions myself. Um, I'm, I really believe that God is in everything and everyone. So, um, yeah, but I'm really open to learn from everyone. And I think this is a different perspective that you're seeing now as well. So you might be changing that. So let's get you a card, Gemini. I'm getting a man and 28. This is a very specific message. But for some of you, you're going to meet someone new, right? No matter what you're attracted to. Like, this is a man. And if you're not into man, this could be a friend that's going to help you. And that's going to support you. This person could be 28. Or this could happen on the 28th of November. I'm getting the sun. Yeah, you're really uh, gonna brighten up your life again, and especially after the how, like past the fifteenth of November, there's gonna be so many beautiful blessings, Gemini. You have no idea. It's gonna be a lovely month, and you're gonna find your optimistic self again. You're gonna see sunshine, even though maybe there is outside no sunshine, but you're gonna see the light again. I'm seeing uh, books, so you might be reading books studying again or even some of you are writers because gemini you're a very talented communicator right like you're ruled by mercury and a lot of uh gemini's are super talented uh writers talented singers uh very creative right uh, but you're also good at negotiations anything related to communication investigation right precision so some books are gonna help you like go to the next level okay so yeah it's a good time to manifest wish a wish and for some of you you're getting out of the well like you were in a, in a like a little bit of a difficult place with yourself and you weren't sure where to go next and what to do and and it's like suddenly the gates are opening and you really see the light again and you're gonna be so much nicer to yourself so take some time off, right? With the North Node in your 12th house, you really have to learn how to take rest and how to really surrender yourself as well to the universe for the next steps ahead and that you're not like trying to go against the stream because that's going to exhaust you much more. 
you see steady progress so you're gonna have steady progress and you're gonna get the recognition that you were really waiting for right I'm getting stress management so take take it easy especially at the beginning of the month really rest take your time because you need to rest sometimes and really get in back into your own body back into your own self so this is my message for you my lovely Gemini's if you like this video subscribe to my channel leave a comment below how this resonates with you I really hope this video was not too wobbly for you but I still wanted to give you a part of nature and a part of my life that I can bring forward to you um, but I really appreciate all the subscribes and you know all the comments it's absolutely lovely i'm feeling super honored to have met you so thank you so much and i wish you an amazing month of november